Hello, today I will discuss about the histology of the uterus. The uterus has three layers, the endometrium, inner layer, myometrium composed of thick, smooth muscles, and perimetrium that is composed of loose connective tissue covered by the mesothelium that is simple squamous epithelium that is the visceral peritoneum. So this is the endometrial layer, this is the myometrial layer, this is the perimetrial layer. So if we highlight this endometrial layer, we will get this appearance. This is the epithelium that is simple columnar epithelium. Then we will get the layers of the uterus, we will get some gland here and we will also get the stroma. So what are the identifying points for the histological slide of the uterus? We have three layers, endometrium, line by columnar epithelium, and some of this cell has cilia. Myometrium, thick, smooth muscle, and we have three layers of smooth muscle. They are mingled together by means of the collagen fibers, and muscle are very thick layer. They form very thick layer over the uterus. Idea is that that those muscles are very important for the expulsion of the fetus during parturition and the muscles during pregnancy goes through hypertrophy hyperplasia after the delivery of the baby the cells go through atrophy involution and also apoptosis and it returns back to the normal pre-pregnancy status Perimetrium is composed of loose connective tissue covered by mesothelium, that is simple squamous epithelium, that is a part of the visceral peritoneum. Endometrium has two layers, stratum functionalis, stratum basalis. Stratum functionalis is shedded during menstrual cycle and it will be regained from stratum basalis layer. So this is the proliferative, this is the proliferative phase of endometrium. We have three phases of endometrium, proliferative phase. Then we have the, the secretory phase. Then we have premenstrual and menstrual phase. Okay, so this is the proliferative phase. So we are looking at the epithelium, simple columnar epithelium. This is stroma. This is loose connective tissue. It is containing cell and ground substance and fibers, and it is vascular. These are the glands. This is the uterine gland. This is a part of the uterine gland. These are tubular gland in the upper part. In the lower part, they may show some branching. So we have this layer, the, the stratum functionalist layer. This will be shedded during menstruation and this basal layer will remain from the basal layer the endometrium again regrow so in the proliferative phase endometrium may be around three millimeter at menstru after menstruation it may be only 0.5 millimeter during the secretory phase it may be around five millimeter Okay, now this is the secretory phase of the endometrium. We will look at the gland. These are the glands. These glands are now coiled. And the stroma is now a little bit more, it is, it is, it is containing more fluid, the stroma. And it is rich with the nutrient and blood. Okay. And this gland contains glycogen. Glycogen idea is that this is the preparation for the implantation of the fertilized product. 
so this is rich in blood rich in carbohydrate like glycogen and the gland are very active containing secretion and they are now quiet artery will get some artery artery will be also spiral okay i'm not seeing a good eye artery here but artery will be spiral at, at this level and it will be communicated with that of the capillary and the sinus okay so if we look at the at the ovarian menstrual cycle so the endometrial changes happen this is the proliferative phase during this phase we have the hormone estrogen okay progesterone is minimum here mostly the estrogen we have the follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone these two are coming from the anterior pituitary gland so by the action of follicle stimulating hormone around 5 to 15 follicle will start to proliferate okay and will have the formation of theca internal cell and granulosa cell from there there will be release of estrogen here we'll get estrogen here these are coming from the fully from the developing follicular cell theca interna and the granulosa cell okay then there will be luteinizing hormone salt luteinizing hormone will come from the anterior pituitary okay and it will cause expulsion of the ovum that is the ovulation and we'll have the luteinizing hormone is surge here and at when the ovulation is done what is remnant in the in the in the follicle those follicular cell the granulosa cell, cell thicker cell will be changed they will be luteal they will receive more fatty substance and they will produce the progesterone okay progesterone if the baby if the the if there is no implantation of the fertilized product okay so then the corpus luteum will degenerate and there will be menstruation if the embryo is implanted in the uterus then the there will be no menstruation the embryo will have the capacity to produce the the syncytial troplastic part of the of the placenta so there will be placentation the placenta syncytial troplast cell will produce the human chorionic gonadotropin so in that condition there will be no menstruation and the endometrium will be the decidua and it will continue as pregnancy luteal phase of endometrium we look at the glands okay the glands are filled with fluid and we have a lot of stroma here surrounded stroma stroma are rich in blood and also nutrient nutrient the luteal gland they are coiled they are containing fluid that fluid is rich in glycogen okay so if we look at the arterial supply of the endometrium we'll find out that this is the arcuate artery this is a branch of the uterine artery so this part of the endometrium is the strata basal is basal layer this is the functional layer this will be shedded during pregnancy so these are the arcuate artery here then we will have radial artery then we have the spiral artery spiral artery go to connect with that of the capillaries and lacuna lacuna here okay so this part will be shedded out and this part will remain the basal layer and because this part is less sensitive to progesterone okay so once it is shedded out then from this blood vessel we'll get blood supply to the to the developing endometrium these are the gland this part of the gland will remain after menstruation and will have epithelialization from this glandular epithelium it will contribute in the formation of the 
proliferating endometrium. Okay, so this is the proliferative phase of menstruation. Okay, endometrial changes. We look at the lumen here. This is the stratum functionalis layer, stratum basalis layer. This is the this is the muscular layer. This is smooth muscle. We should have three layers of muscle. Two layer inside layer is longitudinal, outside layer is longitudinal. Middle layer is more or less circular. Okay, they are mingled together with collagen bundles. These are the glands in the proliferative phase. These are more or less straight and they are secretion and they have less content. Okay, here is the proliferative phase. The glands are now quiet. We have a lot of blood vessel. Okay, and this is the this is the secretory phase. This is the proliferative phase. These two are the secretory phase. This is the basal layer, muscles, and thickness of the endometrium will be increased. This is the premenstrual phase. In premenstrual phase, the gland will be again, they will not get the sufficient hormonal support. They will be disrupted and there will be bleeding and shedding of the endometrium. Okay, now we have some viva bossy question. What are the identifying points? We have endometrium, myometrium, perimetrium. What are the layers of the endometrium? Stratum functionalis, stratum basalis. What are the phases of endometrium in menstrual cycle? We have the proliferative phase, secretory, secretory, secretory phase, and the menstrual phase. What are the hormonal changes during menstrual cycle? We have estrogen, progesterone. Source of estrogen from the growing follicular cells, especially in the theca interna and the granulosa cell. What are the sources of progesterone from the corpus luteum? How it is formed? Corpus luteum. Corpus luteum is formed in the follicle after ovulation. Okay. We have to know sources of estrogen, progesterone. Okay. What is the structure of the myomet myometrium? Smooth muscle. It is very thick and it has around it has three layers two inner layer outer layer are longitudinal the middle layer is circular but they are mingled together with we have also collagen bundle in between them what is the structure of the perimetrium there is loose connective tissue covered by the simple squamous epithelium mesothelium or visceral peritoneum what is the mode of blood supply of the uterus we have the arcuate artery then we have the radial artery, we have spiral artery, artery going to connect with that of the some the venous sinuses and capillaries. Okay, spiral artery, upper part of the spiral artery will go out along with the menstruation, the basal part of the artery will remain. Okay. How the endometrium regrow after menstruation from the basal part of the endometrium, the epithelial cell will re-epithelize the endometrium okay and this all of these are my references so that's all about the histology of the uterus if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now